All right, welcome to the Ravid Show. We are here at No Limits uh, by Incorta. So happy to be here and look who I have with me, uh, CEO and co-founder of Incorta, Osama. Welcome to the Ravid Show. Thanks a lot for having me and I really appreciate that you are with us today. Thank you. It is a very energetic event and uh, I can see you, you've just had your keynote and I have announced about Operational Gen AI. I'm kind of excited about everything, but can you tell us more about what do you think about the event uh, and uh, what excites you about such events? Yeah, it's really exciting to see all of our customers and partners with us today. Right. And to learn about something new that we are bringing to the market, which is Operation Gen AI. We're actually making it possible for the first time ever for enterprise to realize the advanced technology of Gen AI and be able to use it in business without having to worry about all of these uh, pre-infrastructure or a lot of uh, talent that they need to bring to the team and they right. can realize the benefit and deploy it and, and take advantage of it as well. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, also, since the launch happened, uh, I'm kind of curious to know about, um, you know, the key features and benefits of Incota's newly launched operational Gen AI. Would you like to let, uh, let our audience know a little more in depth about sure, it? Sure, sure. Number one, and, and the most important thing is a lot of people are afraid of using Gen AI because of the cost. We are coming with the first step F offer, first mm. time ever, that customers would have a fixed cost of- Which is good. To use Gen AI. Yeah. And also it's unlimited. Mm. You can actually use as many users, as many people around the, the business to utilize it. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, also uh, secure, it's private. So you don't have to worry about security and privacy at all. Yeah. And it does not require as many technical resources. It's fully automated. Mm. You don't have to have anyone managing the models, deploying the models, taking care of that. Everything is fully automated for them. And it's all empowered with the, what they already have or what they can have with Incorta uh, Operational Lake House. Right. So they have all the detailed data to feed to the Gen AI and actually can get advantage of it. Because without that, just having summary data or having, you know, aggregated numbers, no one can benefit from Gen AI. It is something pretty important in terms of, you know, a lot of enterprise leaders I talk to and cost is one of the biggest things that they always talk about as well. It's like, we don't have the budget to, you know, spend 5 million in just AI yeah. you know, or Gen AI, right? Yes. We are making it very affordable even for that smaller business mm. to take advantage of Gen AI while the large business are like, trying to figure out what it is. Right. But large business, smaller business, we are actually working with some of our customers who are very small or very large. Nice. It's a sound of $50 billion company and also $2 billion companies that they are actually, all of them from that range. Yeah. And everyone know what kind of impact this would have. Okay, this makes a lot of sense. Also, uh, on the stage, just a little bit, uh, you know, that I heard was about the partnerships. And you mentioned about Vectara and Explain being a very important part of the game. So I'm kind of curious to know about how that partnership looks like and uh, how our, how's, you know, how you've created a good package for the, uh, you know, the customers out there. So in order for us to bring all this technology to the business, to expedite that, and we're not a believer of building everything our own. We really depend on partners as much as we can nice. to explain or facilitate all the serving of the model and allowing us to have access to thousands of models, test them and verify them and choose the best for our customers. Love it. Even sell for our customers as well. And Victoria is bringing all of these unstructured data to the structured data that Incorta has. So as you have seen in the demos, as you have seen in the demos. Right. The, the CFOs and the CEOs can ask questions from within the company data, from comparing to competitors outside and be able to realize. It is a game changer, actually. We saw that. Yeah. I really believe that what we have seen right now, nobody else was able to show that. I don't believe that many CFO around the world have access to information from within and outside and get, can get within five minutes answers that they would wait for weeks and with tens of people to collect information together for them. Yes. Yeah. Thanks for sharing those insights. Also, you mentioned uh, a little about, you know, the data governance, data privacy. So what measures does operational Gen AI take to ensure data privacy and uphold corporate governance standards? I'm kind of curious to learn a little about yeah, that. Yeah. Number one, the data never leaves, like nobody, the data is not shared with anyone else. The nice. model is private. It is secure. The data also is secure. 
And any answer to the question goes through a lot of security measure to get back the answers to the business user. So if a manager asks any question about any employees, mm -hmm. in quarter, will very, will, number one, will, will utilize Genii to, to get the answer there, to get the queries and get the answer. But to get back the answer to the business, it goes through the semantic layer, all the raw level data securities, True. to be able to give them that information. So no one will ever access data that they're not allowed to access. And that's a big concern for business. It is, it is one of the best steps, I think, uh, to make sure where the data privacy and governance is in place. Uh, so thanks for sharing that. Also curious to know a little about from the enterprise point of view too. So uh, talking about the benefits, so how does operational JNI help enterprise improve operational efficiency and maintain a competitive advantage? What are your thoughts around that? Yeah, we have seen just in the demo now, the CFOs are able to find information hmm. and take accurate decision based on information that would never be possible. Just exactly. the data within the company yeah. does not give them actually the answer right away. And that's when, when they compare to the competitors, now they dig deep and use Encorta to dig deep there. A lot of things around, for example, the how can we predict the items that's needed based on the sales that are there? How can we utilize that cheapest vendors from information out there? Right. How can we ensure that we can also do much better data quality? And, and merging data for multiple systems. How can we expedite that process? Right. How can we get the reviews, for example, from multiple languages? Yeah. And to be and, and ranking that in a very efficient way. There are so many, many use cases that can benefit the business. But GDI is, is literally for something it's never been possible before. Yeah. And how can we get it possible? Okay, that's fantastic. Also, looking about uh, going into the future, I'm kind of uh, also wanting to learn more about the vision. So what future advancements do you foresee in Encorta's operational journey and how will they continue to address the enterprise needs? You've already mentioned a lot where, you know, how enterprises would benefit. But how does it look like in the future? This area is so exciting. Right. Every day there is new innovation. Yeah. But our job as Encorta Nexus is how can we bring that innovation to the business within a few days? Like they don't even have to wait for it. Like when we hear about something, they go to Nexus, right. they have access to these new LLM models that's out there, and they can take advantage of it. If we keep doing this, I'm really sure we will continue to see more and more innovation that we cannot even dream about today. Okay, this is this is game changer. Thanks for sharing all the details, Osama. And uh, uh, definitely we'll keep the conversation going. We'll share it with our audience and we'll share all the resources with our audience as well so they can uh, dive deeper into operational JNI. But uh, thanks for doing this. And uh, Thank you very much. I love your Hindi. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you.